Hey everybody, this is a short video um, updating everybody on some of the powerful uses Apple Classroom has. So I'm going to go ahead and open Apple Classroom, which is this orange app down here. When I open it up, um, as teachers, you guys will see your classes all set up here. I have a demo course that I'll go ahead and tap into right now. When I open up, I see all of my students there. I currently have two students here today, um, student 19 and 25, that are both on their home screen. I can see that because it tells me where they are. Just a couple quick things that we can do with Apple Classroom. Number one, up here I can hit the screens button and of course I can see exactly what app they are on and I can um, go ahead and open up um, Safari on this one app and you'll be able to see that's right where they go. You can see that Safari is open on number 25. Um, now, <clears throat> if I'm projecting my iPad as the teacher, to the projector, and I have students working on a, a project, some sort of, um, pr any, any project whatsoever, any sort of lesson. Um, and I have identified a student in which I want to display that to the rest of the class. I can simply tap on that student, so I'm going to tap, tap on number 25, and if I then hit view screen right here, um, I can immediately see that screen um, in a large format on my class. Uh, now, this would be projected on the projector so everybody can see it. I simply hit done to come back. One of the other things I can do with Apple Classroom is if there is a website that I want my students to go to um, and I'm on it on my own iPad, if I hit the share button, the share row in the top corner, I see my class appear up here. And if I tap that, it will immediately open up all of my student iPads and take them directly to that website. So I can now see as I'm viewing the screens here that all of my students that are here today in my class have gone to that website. Something else you might not know uh, is I can create groups in uh, Apple Classroom. So I could have a group called Bears and I could have um, student 19 in it. Um, click done. I'm going to do another group. I'll call this one the Lions. Um, and then I'll select um, number 25 and 13 to be in that one. Um, and so now I have uh, two groups, the bears and the lions. So now if I go back to Safari, so here I am back in Safari, and I have two websites open, one on the history of Elkhart County, the other one is the history of Indiana. And again, I can hit the share all button, but now that I have groups, I can send everybody to this one website, or I could send... Um, the, just the bears or the lions. So I'm going to send just the bears to this website, and then I'm going to jump over to my other tab on the history of lions and I'm uh, history of Indiana, and I'll send my lions to that. And now um, each of the students in those different groups have been sent to the correct website that I need them to be on. And so I go back to all. You can see that I have some of my students now on one website and the others on the other. Um, I can also um, open up apps uh, for my students. So if you have younger students that, that maybe are struggling to navigate to a specific app, I certainly can find that app on my iPad. And um, if I tell them to open that, um, all my iPads, uh, in just a click of the button, um, open up into iBooks, which is what I wanted them to do. So we've got the ability to see our students' screens, uh, we have the ability to display one student screen wirelessly to the front of the room to display student information. We have the ability to open apps for students. We have the ability to navigate all of our students to a specific website. We have the ability to separate groups out and send them to um, different websites. The last thing I want to do with Apple Classroom is show you how to combine some of the features of Safari, Safari Reader, and PDF annotation and utilize Apple Classroom to help you with your classroom organization. So we have a great article here on highlights of, of sort of history in Indianapolis at the turn of the century. So uh, I want my students to read this, um, but I really want them to just have the article and not necessarily be on Safari. And so if I use, I'm in Safari, if I use these four lines here and I tap them to turn it into Safari Reader, and I use the share row up here, and I save a PDF to iBooks on my iPad. And I can do this all before I get to class. So now I'm ready to go. I walk into class and I use 
the share row button inside the book. So I'm in iBooks. So I'm in iBooks. I open up the article that I want my kids to read. I use this share row up here in the left corner and I send it to all of my students in class number one. Now, you hear that beep? So if I open up my Apple Classroom, right, and I view this student's screen, you can see that if they accept the invitation, that one of the options to open it in iBooks. And so now the students have that book um, that I just sent them, and now they can read it, um, and of course they can use um, the highlighting tools to draw, annotate, and um, go on it. So uh, those are a bunch of the different options. Apple Classroom can help you with your organization, distributing materials, um, and a variety of other things in your classroom. So hope that helps understand how Apple Classroom can be a more powerful tool for you. Um, look forward to helping any of you who need some additional assistance implementing this in your classroom.